Howdy everybody, this is Bake with TheIronThroneCraft.com. This is Invasion Part 2 from this past weekend. The weekend of cheaper T6, T5 revives, and so you're going to see us go through a whole lot of Tier 6 troops. And quite a bit of Tier 5 as well. This time we went to Kingdom 9. You saw our video from yesterday. We went to 19 and 30. And this one is with uh, the Alliance the from 13, my Alliance. And so we poured in during the middle of the raid boss. So sorry about that, Kingdom 9. But... We have quite a few unshielded 5 to 15 billion guys that we found, and it turns out they're all built really well. So Kingdom 9 is tough. No wonder they always beat the hell out of us at Blood Moon. You see, there's a solo on a 5 bill right there from Cactus, who is uh, around 35 billion now. Getting pretty big pretty quick, and you see that uh, he held up really well. Fenrir held up very well, and there's a 100 million Tier 2 Siege. And you will discover that that is a common theme in Kingdom 9. They are built. They build well. They're smart. They all have Dark Lord somehow. I don't know how they all have a Dark Lord. Everybody in the damn kingdom has it. Everybody in the damn kingdom has 100 million siege over and over and over. You will find that we are hitting a lot of people with a lot of siege and a lot of troop defense and a lot of troop HP. And it starts to get a little bit frustrating. But we do find a couple targets to crack. Uh, one in specific that we uh, actually end up zeroing, so that'll happen here in a little bit. There's another solo on Rose. You see 100 million troops. Killed 11 million with that solo, though. That was a good solo. Would have kept going on that target if uh, hadn't shielded. She was online, shielded immediately, and it is what it is. So using Sanctuaries, find size PSY's Hive. Everybody recognizes them because they won the last Alliance tournament, and uh, they are marching forward in this Alliance tournament right now as well. So Cactus sets a rally on Kitty Puppy, and we know that Kitty Puppy is tough because we have fought him in Blood Moon several times. You guys probably recognize the name from our last Blood Moon video, but he's sitting in his hive. He's obviously offline. The raid boss is going on. He's just sitting right in the middle of his hive, right in the middle of a bunch of shields. So that's a target that we want to try. And if he cracks real hard, then we're going to keep going. He didn't crack real hard. He lost 10 million troops. He's got 120 million. If you look at his boosts. 1,200 troop attack, 510 defense and HP. So, good Dark Lord again. And 120 million troops tells me that I probably know what I'm about to see. Scroll down. There's not any infantry. There's not any range. There's a whole hell of a lot of siege. 80 million of them. Killed 8 million. Not going to keep going on that because 80 million tier 2 siege with uh, 500 plus HP and defense is pretty rough. As I said, everybody is kind of freaking out about the new gear that's coming out because the new gear is going to have Tier 2 debuffs as well. So we might see some of these builds changing. But as I said in the video yesterday, I'm not freaking out yet. I've got 125 million Tier 2 Siege. I'm not freaking out because that Tier 2 HP debuff, the big ones come from the plus 5, plus 10, and plus 15 bonuses. If they do this gear like they did with Dark Lord, it's going to be a long time before we see anybody with that. So... Now we're going, we go back, we try to rally Fenrir, because the solo on Fenrir, while it wasn't great, I figured that a rally would probably hit him quite a bit harder. Unfortunately, Fenrir figures the same thing and shields. So, well played to him. Good job. Way to stay on your toes during the invasion. You see Achilles is one troop in the hell out of me with a galloper. Uh, I eat that march like a chiclet and move on moving forward. So, looking around Kingdom 9, as you can see, we've hit a couple people now. They all have Dark Lord. They all have Siege. You see Just for Relax sitting in the middle of the hive, sitting amongst a whole bunch of shields. He's 11.7 billion. I try to check his gear. Can't see his gear. I know that he is tough, though, because, as I said, in Blood Moons, we have run into them quite a bit. Just for Relax fights me at the Wonder pretty frequently. I also know he's part of their Alliance Deathmatch team, so I know that he has good gear. I've gone against him several times. But you see that the Solo burned him, and after I said uh, to rally, a solo came flying in from off screen, and that was Cactus soloing. So it is what it is, but we see, uh, let's look at what the report says and see how hard that solo hit him and see if we want to keep going with rallies. You see the report, solo killed 8.7 million troops. He's got 113 million. He's got 1045 troop attack, 478 uh, defense and HP. So pretty good Dark Lord again, but you see there's some uh, tier 2 troops there. Scroll down, look for the siege count. He's got 71 million tier 2 siege. Now, with Dark Lord right there, if he gets online and pops a boost, it's going to go poorly. We're still going to burn him, and I know that. I know that he'll still burn, but I know that if he starts boosting, they're going to be ugly hits. We're not going to like it. But you see, as I'm saying in Alliance chat, 8 million kills off a of solo 
tells me that a rally is probably going to go pretty well on him. So this bolt guy down here, we get distracted as a smaller target drops shield. We try to rally. He shields. He's just solo baiting the entire time. There's a lot of people that do that. They'll drop shields. They'll try to take a solo. And as soon as you set a rally on him, they'll shield up, uh, which is smart. You know, don't get crushed. I get it. So we're going to go back to just relax here in just a second. I'm going to go around and I'm going to hit people that are already zeroed and not get any kills from them. So you see Cactus sets another rally on just for relax. I speed the archers in there, all tier six, and we're going to try a rally on him and see how the rally goes now. And so Bolt is still there dropping shield, re uh, reapplying shield over and over and over again. Speed the rally in, see how it hits. He's at 11.6 billion now, as we uh, knew from before. You look at this, the rally killed 15.2 million. So that was a pretty good hit. The important thing to check, though, is his boosts. Scroll down, you see he's got lower troop attack, and he's got 478% defense and HP. The reason that troop attack went down is because the first time we hit him, he was holding heroes. Obviously, the burn released all those heroes. So his troop attack went down between the two hits. Also, you see there, T5 did no kills. He's got enough tier 6 troops, even though he only has about a little bit less than a million of each type. Tier 6 defense is so high that it managed to block those tier 5 troops. So as you see here, I'm saying it's going to take six to seven more rallies, and then I'm going to say that we can't, we have to use tier six troops. We cannot use tier five. The, his tier six are blocking our tier five. So filling tier five is just throwing them into a wood chipper for no reason. So I share his cords, and what I was getting at with the boosts is when I was checking those boosts, I was making sure that they didn't go up. If they went up, it means he's online, and he popped a boost. His troop HP and his troop defense stayed at around 490, somewhere around there, and his attack went down. So that tells me he's offline, and it tells me he didn't boost. And now you've heard me say a lot of times we're not just going to uh, zero somebody if they're online, they're boosting, they're resing their tier two. I'm not going to do it. It's a waste of tier six. However, if they're not online, if they're not boosting, if they're not resing, yeah, we'll go for the zero. That's why we invade. And you'll see uh, some people in Kingdom Chat get kind of mad at me because they said, Vic, I thought you don't zero people. And the thing is, yeah, when we invade, we definitely zero people. That's why we invade. We go to get kills. We go to hit big bases. We go to push the limits. Uh, we build tier six in order to push limits. Here's the next hit. 17.7 .7 million. Getting better already. Scroll down. The boost to the same. You see, that was full tier six. That's why it hit a little bit harder. And we killed 17 million out of those uh, 58 million remaining siege. So you see, I say three more rallies. And getting that many kills on each one, still haven't boosted. It's a little bit painful sending all those tier six at them over and over again. But as I've said a million times, we build the troops in order to kill them and theoretically, we want to kill them whenever they're slamming into somebody's walls and lighting them on fire. That's what we're looking for when we build Tier 6 troops. So we're going to go for the zero now. Port the rally team in, get it all set up, and now everybody knows they have to send Tier 6. We're all getting a little bit low on Tier 6 because we have been tossing them into Tier 2 Siege for the past 30 minutes here. I've sped up quite a bit, and I've cut quite a bit. And you see Cactus now becomes a machine, just going to set rally over and over and over again. After each rally, I'm going to check the report, and I'm going to say, hey, send this next time. And let's look at how these reports do as it gets bigger. See, 16.4 million kills that time. Boosts all remain the same. I noticed that as I'm scrolling down through. The reason we got less, there's Tier 5 right there. Tier 5 troops in means that we're going to get less kills. And you see that I say, in for Cav again. And that is because Just Relax still has quite a bit of Siege, but I don't have quite a bit of Archers. And I think C2 is uh, out of Archers as well. And C2 is actually being a crazy person and either training or reviving after each rally so that he can take part in these because, uh, well, that's what Come to Get You does. He's uh, he's kind of a bloodthirsty maniac. But we've got uh, four full T6 fillers here now, and we're going to check, and we're just going to go ahead and just keep on pounding away at just relax here. And he's a tough base. He's got a lot of siege, but we cracked him. We're hitting him for a decent amount. Tier 6 are cheaper to revive, Tier 6 are cheaper to train, and I wanted a big zero. So that hit right there, 15.6 million troops, only 50 million left, boosts all stayed the same, still offline, quite a bit more Tier 5 in our fills, and so because of that, we are now hitting a little bit softer. Uh, you see there, that, that's, that was the reason that hit was softer, it was 900,000 Tier 5 in there. And once again, Tier 5 still got no kills because of reinforcements and because of his Tier 6 count. So one thing that you can do as we see here, one thing that you can do if one of the members of your alliance is getting zeroed like this, or is getting rallied, or is getting soloed, anything like that, is that you can reinforce them with Tier 6. Reinforce them with Tier 6, and that will force the attacker to have to send Tier 6. 
your tier six reinforcements apply to their defense. So when you stick tier six reinforcements in their embassy, it reduces the damage done by tier five to them. And that's why even after we get uh, just relax down really low, we still have to keep on sending tier six. So only 14 million kills right there. Scroll down, boosts are all the same. Check the details again, and you see there's tier five in our attacks. But now we are up into his tier three troops. So the kill count is lower, but the power is going to start going up. And so now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start looking at it, and we're going to start using leverage in order to get more kills. So that's why I say archer right there, because we sent infantry that time. We killed all of his tier three cav, and now he's only got infantry and archers left. You scroll down, you see this. He's got uh, 2.8 million infantry left. He's got 2.2 million archers left. He's got no cav left. So that's why I said archers right there. Archers leverage into infantry, do 200% damage as a base, and more as you do uh, more research if you have runes, if you've upgraded your other uh, archer attack runes, anything like that. If we sit infantry right there, the infantry are going to do only 100% damage against the infantry, and they're going to do 50% damage against the archers. So because we saw infantry archers, we sent archers 200% damage to the infantry, 100% damage to the archers. See 12 million kills now. He's only got 21 million left. Power is getting higher as we progress through the tiers now. So I'm going to go check the types, scroll down through it, look at all those reinforcements. He's got 3 million siege left. He's got uh, about 3.1 million cav and killed most of his infantry and archers. So because of that, because of the high cav count, now we're going to send infantry. And that's what we're doing is we're just checking the report each time, looking at the troops that are remaining. We know what his boosts are. We know that he's not stacked on any one type boost. So now all we're doing is we're using leverage. When you're using leverage to reduce our losses, theoretically, he basically killed all of our damn troops until the end because of uh, his incredibly high research and his good Dark Lord. But we're just making sure we do as much damage as possible with these rallies. So now we fill tier 6 infantry. Uh, C2 must be busy training troops again <laughs> because uh, it was just me and Cactus and Dizzle for that one. But hit with the infantry. We're up into tier 4 now. Look at how the hit goes. 103 million uh, power done. So getting better with every single hit. Scroll down, check the leverage. You see that he's got quite a few archers left. We killed all of his tier four cav and tier five cav. And now we're up into infantry and archers again. So what do you think I'm going to say? Archers, once again, using the leverage, archers are going to kill all of that uh, infantry and they're going to kill a decent amount of the archers as well. Uh, the troop training tree has a research that reduces your affinity penalty. And what that means is that your archers have an affinity towards uh, killing Cav and towards killing their own type archers. And so that 100% reduction on that means that they will do 100% damage to Cav. So they do hit their non-leverage type a little bit better, but generally speaking, you want to use that leverage to the best that you can. And you see that's why these rallies are hitting harder and harder and harder, because now we are able to use leverage as we've gotten through a siege. And that's why we recommend a siege stack and that's why all these people do the damn siege stack, and it hurts us most of the time. Uh, we managed to crack through just for relax, just because we were determined and we wanted to get a zero, and we could build cheaper tier six and tier five now. You see that it's taking me uh, quite a bit of time to type out that sentence, and that's because, generally speaking, if you see me tossing around like 15 million, 20 million uh, tier six, just tossing in a wood chipper, you can assume that I probably had a couple beers going into it. So apologize for the uh, typos. That's what that was about. And so that last hit took him down to only Tier 5, Tier 6 troops left. I say to Solo, to uh, Cactus, so she can get the hero. Usually we want to make sure that the rally leader gets the hero and gets uh, first choice at the loot and everything else like that. want to make sure they get the chopped. But there's something to look at. See those reinforcements? I didn't realize that. Those reinforcements went to hospital. They didn't die. So if you have an alliance member that is getting zeroed, getting hit, if you reinforce them, even if the person attacking gets to your reinforcements, they only go to the hospital. So there is no reason whatsoever not to send tier six troops unless you have uh, low level hospitals, in which case you should build some hospitals and level them up. Uh, so you send tier six reinforcements to one of your alliance mates, it'll make my tier five do no damage to them. And if I manage to kill all of your troops, I don't kill them. They go to the hospital. You can res. And, uh, you see, I'm saying to Cactus, welcome to Iron Throne, because that was basically the first big zero that she's gotten. And that was one of the bigger zeros that uh, we've gotten as well. I have not set that many rallies on a target to zero them yet. That was the first one that uh, actually took quite a bit of time, quite a few rallies, quite a few leverage, everything like that. You see now in Kingdom Chat, it went from uh, fun, good time, 
to they watched this zero just to relax and now they're all pissed off at us. It is what it is. It's a war game. I'm sorry. Watch out on Saturdays. You never know who's going to pour it in. I know there are quite a few alliances that have a whole crap load of tier six now. So this Godfather guy ports in. He wants to hit. You see that I'm nearly out of damn troops, but uh, I'm going to fill it anyways. And we're going to see how this rally goes prior to uh, starting a loot train on Just Relax. He had uh, some resources open. And all in all, he held up incredibly well. That was painful. If this had been PvP or KVK Blood Moon event, he would have dominated us on points. We wouldn't have kept going after those hits. But because it was invasion, because we wanted kills... We went ahead and kept going. You see that hit from Godfather there? We only killed 5 million with a full rally. 34 million power. He came damn close to capping us. Held up extremely well. So uh, well played Godfather. Well built. Just relax. Well built by you. If you'd been online to boost, you would have uh, stopped us after one rally. Everybody else in Kingdom 9 that took hits, good job. You guys are tough. There's no wonder that you guys beat us in Blood Moon over and over again. Because every damn person that we hit dominates us on points and dominates us on score there. And that's the uh, danger of hitting into Tier 2. So we will see how this new gear goes. I'll be releasing a video uh, soon that goes over the uh, patch notes and everything like that with the new gear. And once the new gear comes out, we'll also be seeing you know, exactly how easy it is to obtain. If it's just uh, something that you can buy or not. If it's something you can buy, then yeah, Tier 2 is going to get pretty bad pretty quick. But we'll see how that goes. The new Guard Captain system, deputies, and everything else like that. That's going to make it uh, a big change to the game. There's going to be a lot more ways to customize your account, a lot more ways to build. It's not going to be everybody with a siege stack. There's going to be a lot of people with different builds and everything like that, which means that we can use our brains, figure out how to crack them better, and you as a defender, or me as a defender, can use our brains to figure out how to set up layers in order to protect ourselves. So you saw there, I said I feel kind of bad about Zeering just relax, and that's just because I know he's a good player. He's a solid build. Uh, but it is what it is. It's an invasion Keep your enormous shield up for your big guys. And on Saturdays, make sure you shield up or you're online or you're just rolling boosts for 24 hours, something like that. Give me a like. Give me a follow. Hit us up online chat. Leave in the comments where you want us to invade. Maybe we'll be seeing you next weekend.